So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a coverage formula uh, which will be of benefit for us formula case. So let's move ahead and see our requirements. So uh, our requirement is if the person date of birth falls between 1961 and uh, 1974, then they are eligible for cover up uh, cover up to 800. For those born between uh, 1975 and uh, 1989, coverage extends to uh, 1000. Uh, individuals who are born between 1990 to 2010 are eligible for cover uh, coverage up to 1500. Uh, and uh, the DBI we are going to use is per uh, per date of birth. So this is going to be the person date of birth and uh, formula type will be coverage amount calculation. So let's move to Excel and uh, let's try to understand the requirement. Uh, so uh, here is the requirement. So here we are going to take only two uh, employees. These employees I have created already. And uh, the date of birth is uh, uh, 16 uh, June 1965 for Emma Smith, and uh, she is going to get uh, 800 of coverage as per our uh, requirement. And the second person is Daniel Johns uh, Johnson. So uh, the date of birth is 25th of April 1980, and he is going to get actually uh, this should be thousand. So he's going to get 1000 uh, uh, coverage. Let's move to our uh, uh, let's move and see our formula. So here is our formula. So I have taken uh, date of birth uh, as our DBI. So this is the uh, per per date of birth and I have uh, uh, made it default. So uh, the default date is 1951-0101 and I have specified that it is a date. Uh, further, I have uh, taken a, a, a variable and have assigned date of birth to that, uh, which is L start date. I, OK, and uh, lastly, I have taken a coverage uh, variable and have initialized it with zero. Uh, and uh, after that, the first condition of uh, f first condition is uh, if L start date is greater than equal to. Uh, to the date I have specified as the 1961-0101. And the format is going to be YYY, uh, MM and DD. So the first condition is if, if the uh, uh, start date is greater than equal to 1961 and uh, start date is less than equal to uh, 1974. So the person is getting uh, we will uh, initialize our uh, reinitialize our coverage uh, uh, variable to 800. So uh, the it will return 800. Further, if we go, uh, if the uh, L start date is greater than equal to uh, say 1973 to 1989, then the person is uh, eligible for thousand uh, coverage and uh, our third condition is going to be if the uh, uh, L start date is less than uh, greater than equal to 1990 and less than equal to uh, 2020 uh, 2010 then the person is eligible for coverage 1500 okay so let's move ahead Let's move to our instance and see how we can uh, le uh, let's create our uh, formula first. So I'll come to home screen. And uh, I'll go to my client group. And uh, compensation. 
Mm. And if we scroll down, uh, we see fast formula. So let's create a fast formula. I am going to take a benefit coverage as our formula or uh, name. And type is going to be coverage. Uh, uh, coverage amount calculation. Let me change the effective start date to 1101. Now I'm going to copy and paste my formula in the formula text. I'll save the formula, I'll submit, and I'll compile the formula. Let's just wait for the formula to get compiled. Let's search our formula and see if it is compiled or not. So our formula has been compiled. Uh, let's come to uh, home page. And we'll create a coverage plan. Benefit administrator plan configuration. Uh, I'll click on create. Uh, let me change the session effective date. Uh, coverage name employee benefit. Uh, let me select the plan name. as medical PPO and determination rule will be calculate uh, for enrollment formula and value calculation formula here we will select our formula. Uh, let's click on save and close. And let's go to home page. And I'll click on enrollment and we'll search for our employee. This one 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 double zero one, uh, which will be Daniel Johnson. And uh, I'll click on benefit groups and so delete this. Uh, uh, group and we'll add a new group. So let me search for medical group name and we'll click on save let's do this the same for the another uh, for another person and click on search emma smith benefit group and let's delete this and let's add the medical group name and i'll click on save <clears throat> Now, let's uh, move to another window uh, browser and search for Emma Smith. We'll log in with Emma Smith. 
and over here I'll search for benefits. And uh, I'll click on start enrollment and after that I'll click on continue. Then uh, we have to choose choice program core and click on accept. OK, so let's see. OK, as per our uh, condition, uh, we can see. The. Let's check the. Date of birth first of the person, so. Person management, let me search for double zero one. Sorry, double zero two. And action. Person and employment person. And OK, so you can see the date of birth is 6, 16, uh, 65. OK, and uh, according to our condition, uh, According to our condition, if the person lies between 1961 to 1974, then uh, he should uh, get uh, coverage up to 800. So the she is getting 800 as coverage. Now let's cross verify uh, with another person. Let's log in with another person, uh, Dan Daniel Johnson, and we'll cross verify. Now, OK, I'll click on benefit. And let's click on start enrollment and we'll click on enrollment. So let's click on uh, choice. And uh, let's see our coverage amount. OK, here you can see the coverage amount. So let's go here and uh, We'll check the date of birth for Daniel Johnson. Action. And person. OK, so the date of birth is 425 uh, 80. OK, so if the person lie between uh, 1975 to 1989, the uh, coverage will be extended to 1000. So. So here the coverage amount is 1000, so both of uh, the condition are successfully executed. So thank you for watching this session. Uh, we'll meet in the next session. Thank you.